Welcome back to City Scene TV. As promised, Marissa Lopez Elkins is visiting us again from the Camarillo Ranch <laughs> Foundation. Marissa is the CEO of the ranch. Welcome back. Welcome, Marissa. Thank you for having me. So there's uh, quite a few things going on in December, even though I can't believe it's November already. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's first touch base on the docent tours happening over Thanksgiving weekend. Yes, yeah, so we host our historic home tours every Saturday, Sunday, and Monday from noon to 3 p.m. Um, it is a $5 fee, and all of the proceeds help support our educational programs. So guests can come in during Thanksgiving weekend and any other weekend and learn about the history of Adolfo's Victorian mansion and Adolfo's role in the community here in Camarillo. Oh, how interesting. That's great. And also, um, we know that you do a lot of weddings and receptions mm -hmm. at the Camarillo Ranch House. Is November still a busy time for weddings? Believe it or not, it is. Uh, we're very fortunate to book the venue for weddings and special events year-round. Uh, the venue rental business is our main source of fundraising revenue f for the foundation. Oh, okay. So all the proceeds from, from the rentals support our preservation and maintenance and our educational programs, which are the school tours and the house tours. So we do host a, a wide variety of events all year, and it, believe it or not, December we host um, events almost seven days a week for holiday parties and corporate events. And you're really busy in December. Then. We're very busy, very, very uh, fortunate uh, to host uh, these events, and we also uh, sponsor our own events for the community. So one of the events that you host is Christmas at the Ranch. Tell me about that. Yes, so Christmas at the Ranch, uh, we celebrate the holiday season all month long. Um, this year we're hosting three, three nights, the first three Wednesdays in December, the 5th, the 12th, and the 19th, wow. and families uh, Families in the community can come and visit Santa at the ranch house. So we have the Red Barn transformed into Santa's workshop oh, where cute. families can take their uh, holiday portraits mm -hmm. with Santa Claus. Um, part of the ticketed admission includes a souvenir photo. And then we'll also have the ranch house, uh, we'll have host special holiday home tours in the ranch house on those three nights. Great. So for viewers who are new to the community, mm -hmm. um, where is the ranch located at? And, and what is it all about? Like, get a little bit of detail about it. Okay, yeah. So the, the Camry Ranch was owned by the Camarillo family. Um, the 1892 Victorian mansion was built by Adolfo Camarillo for his wife. Okay. And their family lived there for many, many years. Um, the property uh, was originally a 10,000 acre land grant and they grew all types of crops there. They had cattle, they had a dairy. Um, so now the property is four and a half acres and it's been preserved and is a registered historic landmark in the state of California. So okay. the city of Camarillo owns the property and the Camry Ranch Foundation manages the property for the city. Okay. So we're in charge of all the fundraising for ongoing preservation, maintenance of the historic buildings, the gardens, and we're here to educate people about the legacy, the property and Adolfo hold in the community. Great. So you talk a lot about this Camarillo Ranch Foundation. Mm -hmm. Exactly what is it and how do you donate? How do you raise your money? So the Camry Ranch Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. The Camry Ranch Foundation was established by the city in 1998 to, as, as we talked about, you know, oversee ongoing operations and fundraising. And we are sustained by the generous gifts from the community. So we have a donor program. Um, we have a membership program with, that we call Friends of the Ranch. Okay. We also have a leader circle society. So those are our major donors. Um, donors have helped restore the house over the years. You can adopt a room. You can oh. sponsor one of our many annual events, such as Christmas at the Ranch. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have the venue rental business, which, as a nonprofit, as a nonprofit organization, we're very fortunate because that is an, our largest fundraiser. So having mm -hmm. weddings, that that, that money goes to the foundation as well. Yes, it does. All of the proceeds okay. pr uh, they fu help fund our maintenance, preservation, and educational programs. So just like. Um, the, the touring during November, mm -hmm. you have a lot going on in December. You had like a different theme last year. So the theme last year was a Victorian theme, and now you have a gala. Is that, am I, am I saying that right? 
No, no, actually, we okay. don't host the gala. We're okay. not hosting a gala okay. this year. Okay. Um, we are hosting the Christmas at, or at the ranch event for the community. So that's geared towards people of all ages. Okay. So for the kids and young families, they can come and take the pictures with Santa, and we have educational that is really activities fun. Okay. and crafts. Mm -hmm. And then for the adults, um, we have the holiday home tours. Okay. So we have Victorian carolers who will be greeting you as you enter the property in the ranch house. We have a pianist who will be playing holiday music um, as you take your tour. Oh, pretty. We'll also have uh, special performances by Camarillo Academy of Performing Arts. Their stu dance students will be um, performing Christmas-themed acts for our guests. We'll have a snow, snow at the ranch <laughs> <laughs> for people to enjoy as well as a holiday market oh, wow. so people can come out and you know shop for uh, holiday decor gifts and we'll have a hot cocoa bar and treats so it'll be a, a really nice time for everyone um, the first three Wednesdays in December. That's wonderful mm -hmm. and so you brought some pictures with you mm -hmm. let's go through them and that looks like the house and it looks busy. Yeah so this was one of <laughs> A previous uh, Christmas times at the ranch where the community came out to see Santa Claus um, these people are actually lined up for one of the holiday home tours and as you see the ranch house is decorated for the season our docents do an amazing job they decorate the house inside and out every room just about has a Christmas tree and we try to feature Victorian era oh how pretty decor. oh I mm -hmm. love that so as you'll see this is one of the upstairs bedrooms um, this is Rosa's room, and the de the Christmas decor matches the the color scheme in her bedroom. This is Carmen's bedroom, Carmen Camarillo, who was known for breeding the white horses. Oh, that's right. This is one of our docents, uh, ready to lead oh, a holiday home tour. I love that she's all dressed up. Mm -hmm. These are some of the children who came out to see Santa last year, I believe. Look at all that decor. Yeah, so that is the, the bay window that you'll see from the front of the ranch house. We have our largest Christmas tree in that window, so guests can come by. Um, because of the time change coming up, most of the events take place in after dark. Mm, so the house mm -hmm. is all lit up. We have Christmas lights on the house oh and goodness. on the gates as you, as you enter the property. These are the Victorian carolers, and they dress in costume. I so was they'll... hoping they would. That looks so cool. <laughs> yeah, so they'll, they'll be performing during our, our Christmas events. Yeah, so it's a really special place. Um, my first time visiting the, the Camry Ranch was actually during the holiday season, and I felt like it was like Disneyland, all, oh. all decorated. How old were you when you came? I actually didn't come to the to the ranch until I was in my early twenties. Oh, okay. Um, but that's how it felt. I love I love the Christmas I love decor, Christmas time. It's yes. just something I special love, to be there. I love how you utilize the white horses mm -hmm. with a lot. Yeah, the white horses play a really important uh, role in the Camry Ranch history. Mm -hmm. um, we have those two horses you saw on display. So these photos are of, of various rooms throughout the house that our docents help decorate. Mm -hmm. That's the front of the barn where we'll have Santa's workshop. Oh, very pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, will there be any vendors there or anything? There will be. Okay. So we'll have the Rustic Barn House okay. um, is going to do a pop-up holiday market during every one of the Christmas at the Ranch events. Okay. And we'll also have a hot cocoa bar and a sugar cookie decorating station um, from some local vendors as oh, well. Oh, that's great. Mm-hmm. So we saw in a um, in a photo, is Santa and Mrs. Claus going to be visiting the ranch? They will be. They'll be <laughs> present uh, during those three Christmas at the oh, Ranch there they events. Are. And what we're doing uh, extra special this year is we have uh, Santa's mail station. So people in the community can come and deliver their letters to Santa all oh, month long. Oh, so mm. neat. Mm -hmm. What do you do with the letters? We deliver them to Santa. I love <laughs> it. <laughs> Very smart, Marissa. <laughs> we have elves, too. Just... <laughs> we do. We do have elves greeting, greeting kids and helping them um, tell, tell Santa their wishes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you don't have to reserve um, a slot or anything in advance to... No. Um, tickets are available on our website for okay. advanced sale. They'll also be available at the gate. It's $6 admission uh, per individual, and we have family packs available as well. 
Okay. And if someone wants to find out more about the ranch, mm -hmm. um, what's the website, phone number? Yeah, so we actually have two websites. We have one website where you can learn all about the foundation, um, our community events, and the history. That's CamryRanchFoundation.org. And then if you're interested in renting the venue for a wedding or special event, that's CamarilloRanch.org. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Well, um, we still have some time. If there's anything you want to like elaborate on as far as the ranch's involvement, mm -hmm. and again, we definitely need more information about the Christmas at the ranch, just in case people are just tuning in. Oh, definitely. Um, all of the information for the Christmas at the Ranch event is available on our website. Um, you can buy tickets there if you're interested in sponsoring the uh, that event or future events next year. Uh, you can find out information there as well. Um, Perfect. Let's see. We are hosting, we are one of the homes on the Metal Arts Holiday Home Tour oh, great. this season. Mm -hmm. I believe that is Sunday, December 9th. Okay. So we are one of the homes on the tour. You'll get the holiday home tour if you visit the property. Wonderful. And we also host the Metal Arts uh, Holiday Boutique in the barn. So you can come and shop. And um, it's just a great, it's a great way to sp spend Sunday afternoon. And, and they're a great foundation as mm -hmm. well. And I'm sure the ranch is going to be beautiful. There's people who probably want to get involved as far as volunteers. Do you have children volunteers? Do you have adult volunteers? We accept volunteers of all ages. Um, we have a student internship program. Okay. Um, with we start in middle school, middle mm -hmm. school and up, all the way through college okay. for for students, and we're always looking for people to, who would like to participate as a docent for either our house tour or school tour program. Um, we also host a variety of events throughout the year, so we're always looking for people who might want to help out as greeters or help out with our cash bar. Um, just it, it takes a, a lot of a lot of help to keep the camera right. going. Right. Always mm -hmm. interesting. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank I you. really enjoyed listening to everything that's going on.